A Miami woman is fighting local authorities to keep her home after Miami-Dade County has deemed it to be unsafe. But what makes this home unsafe may surprise you. UMTV reporter Erica Ostad went to Opalaka to meet the purple-haired grandma who is making headlines worldwide. This is one of my ma amazing oaks. It was 40 years ago when Shawnee Chassie of I North just, Miami realized she had a thing green. for trees. I know that we're connected. I love them. She can tell you the name of every tree in her yard. This is the Langy Lang Gumbo Limbo. She can also tell limbo. you what kind of tree her house is because her house is actually a tree. This is Shawnee's paradise. She built this place 10 years ago after the last tree house she lived in got too old. It comes complete with a full kitchen, living room, and loft bedroom. She says she needs to live here because she can't live inside normal houses. I believe I'm claustrophobic. I can't live with closed windows and doors. For Shawnee, this tree house is much more than just a home. Just like trees, the roots of this story run much deeper. It's my joy, my life. It was my son's joy and his life. He used to work every Sunday with me in the yard. Her son's name was Joshua, and their bond was one of a kind. He used to call me every time he saw a rainbow, and I used to call him every time I saw a hummingbird. Just ask Shawnee's daughter, Wren. They were like best friends. It was really sweet. Joshua was his mother's protector and her biggest fan. He did his best to understand what she stood for and supported her along the way. He meant the world to his sister, too. He was, um... Joshua died seven years ago from an unexpected heart attack. He was just 31 years old. Three weeks before he died, he said, Mama, I want everybody to know that if I ever died, I've done everything I ever wanted to do. So I think he knew he was dying. The treehouse and its gardens are like Joshua's living footprints. He was in love with every little part of this yard. And being that he's not here, it's something that kind of lives on like a child would live on. But the treehouse may not be here much longer. Miami-Dade County has That's ordered it to be demolished. The county has released an official statement saying the treehouse and other structures on the property were found to be unsafe by the Unsafe Structures Panel. But Shawnee isn't buying it. She says that treehouse has withstood Hurricanes Wilma and Katrina, and the county is plain wrong. I think that they're pretending that they care about my safety, and what they really want is tax money. Shawnee has until January 2nd, 2017 to take down the treehouse. I would miss everything here and my grandma. I don't know where she would go. But Shawnee isn't giving up. It's my son's home. And uh, for that reason, I will never, I'm not going to leave it. Miami-Dade County says Shawnee can build another treehouse that's up to their standards, but this will cost about $100,000. Shawnee makes and sells organic popcorn for a living, which doesn't pay a lot, so rebuilding the treehouse on her own dime is out of the question. She's holding a Save the Treehouse benefit event on November 4th to help raise money and awareness for her case with the county. I'll be following this story and we'll keep you updated on what becomes of Shawnee's paradise as the new year rolls around. I'm Erica Orstad, now back to the desk.